Hey, it's Radical Dan. Um, a lot of people was asking me how I make my charcoal. So, uh, I'll show you that I'm making some right now. Um, basically, what I do is, inside this 55-gallon drum right here, there is a smaller drum. Okay, you can see it. It's really hot up here. You can actually see the flames coming off the top of that drum over there around the side. Well, there's holes in the bottom of that inside drum, and it is full of this right here which is like chunks of wood that's you know cut off and stuff like that which is what's going to end up being the charcoal okay and what happens after it bakes it turns into this now I've crushed up some of this into smaller pieces for my gasifiers but like this is typical this would be a typical piece right here you can tell it looks like it used to be a piece of a 2x4 and that's exactly what it was it used to be a piece of a 2x4 and see it just breaks so here's your charcoal right there you can uh, you can grind it up and make a powder out of it. You can use it in your garden. I can use it in my forge, you know, to melt metal. I use it in my gas fires to run engines. But basically what I do is I go around the property and I get a brush that's fallen and I bust it up into little pieces. Because otherwise it's going to sit on the ground. But basically that's the fuel. So is what I'll dump in here. Oops dump on the sides right there and that's actually what burns and keeps that temperature up so what it does basically it gets the temperature of the wood on the inside it's like baking it it gets it so hot that it you know drives off all the it drives everything off except the carbon basically and turns it into charcoal and uh, so yeah it takes about three hours to a process like that but uh, it didn't cost me nothing but my labor so <laughs> all right man hope you have a good one it's radical Dan see ya